I don't know how many times I have to say this, but the best sombrero to wear on a sunny day is a jellyfish. Other than the fact that it stings like a fuck, it's still the best sombrero to wear. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you guys round five. Five, 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 I think. Yes, five, five. I think I'm leaning 8-0 right now. So, that's gonna be, that's good times. I've been celebrating since, so, um, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much, uh, don't have any clothes on, but that's gonna, that's gonna be a good thing. So, don't imagine me not having clothes because I'm not wearing any clothes. But that's not even, you know what? You know what? Fuck it! Fuck it! I'm gonna introduce you guys to Magnezone, Crawdon, Me and Xiao, Tangrowth, and Rotom Heat. I kept Blastoise in there because, uh, it's a, it's a beast. And, um, two BLs. Magnezone and uh, Crawdon, two BLs in the Smogon, but I, I put them into my team because Magnezone is hardly ever used anyways, and Crawdon is just a magnificent beast! So, those are the reasons, if you don't like it, I don't know what to say to you, but, um, so far I'm in a good position, I, I pretty much am, but, um, one thing I, ha I do have to tell you guys is I did record, um, a couple matches prior to this, at right now, but the problem is, is that I encountered some bitch who was using a stall Pokemon Heat ran with the substitute toxic protect shit and Cresselia who was just moonlighting for days and packed in the Thunder Wave and pretty much was pretty much being stall ass motherfuckers. But so because of that the video I was planning on recording on that match lasted 34 fucking minutes and I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna put that up on YouTube for you guys because that would have been the most boringest shit ever so give me you guys now the fifth one but on on that note yeah pretty much fuck that match going to this one against Luno I don't like that Umbreon reminds me of bad times bad times on Pokemon Shona because it was, it's been known to become a bitch so because of that, I do have to bring in Mian Xiao just for that fucking purpose, but I think I don't have to because I do pack in over Sphere with that Blastoise, so and Blastoise seems to be the better option on top of everything else, so I don't really necessarily have to bring Mian Xiao but, um my Magnezone seems to be the better uh, choice, so Blastoise, Magnezone for sure I don't know which one's gonna be first to go um, I really want it to be Cronon, I guess, to start off everything. Cronon's gonna be first. Hmm. Thinking about it, my Rotom Heat will pack in a, a huge punch here also. But I'm gonna bring in Cronon just for that, uh, knockoff ability, so... It's gonna be Cronon, Blastoise, and Magnezone. Coming in against Luno! So... Technically, it's not a freaking consecutive series anymore because of that fucking saw ass Pokemon, but sometimes it has to happen like that. So, going against Luno, hopefully a match, this will be a, uh, a very fun match for you guys, because I didn't have fun on that last match, man. It was a pain in the ass to beat. So, I do have a good lead here. I do, and that's going to be good signs for my part. Um, I really I want to set up a Dragon Dance here. I don't know if he's going to switch or not. If he does switch, then it's going to be good times. Because I looking at the team preview, I didn't see any Pokemon that want to stand against this Cronaut. And if he does go for an attack, that's going to be fine too. But we just have to see against this Moltres. Moltres is actually um, not uh, that uh, common to you see in Battle Spot. So that's a good thing to know. But I do have that um, Dragon Dance set up. Whether it likes to go for Foul Play or not, that's its decision. So... I, I, I really don't care at this point, but if it attacks in the- oh my god. I'm thinking about it now, thinking about that previous match, if it does pack in the fucking Toxic Protect, I am fucking done. Hopefully that's not the case because I'm gonna pack in this Crab Hammer like a bitch, do it, kill! It takes more than half, that's gonna be good times, so foul play, I really don't care. I genuinely don't care. That takes in half, that's gonna be fine I guess. Knowing at that range, I, uh, that Aqua Jet won't kill this Ombreon. Definitely, so I'm gonna go Crab Hammer again. Hopefully I land it. Can I land this Crab Hammer? Let's do it fucking Cronaut for the fucking win. Do it! Thank you, Cronaut! Killing the one single bitch on my opponent's team. Thank you so much, Cronaut. That's why I have you on my team. Take care of those fucking walls, those annoying fucking walls. Um, the last match I was talking about, um, I didn't bring in Cronaut. And I guess I regret that decision, but at the same time, he did have Raikou to take care of my Cronon. But at the same time, those, those fucking Pokemon were a pain in the ass to beat. I'm still not over that shit. Holy fuck. How do you have fun 
with the fucking Toxic Protect sub heat ran. Wow. I, I don't know. But I'm not gonna talk about that match because you guys didn't don't haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it for yourselves, but I didn't save it because it's just not worth it. I'm not even not gonna upload that fucking shit. But I guess this Moltres best case scenario is to go for the Aqua Jet. So Aqua Jet away. Can I kill this Meltress with an Aqua Jet? I don't think I'm gonna go in, I'm not gonna be able to, but I do! Because of the adaptability, Aqua Jet, fantasticness! Chronodon! You're fucking too damn powerful! Is this gonna be a 3-0 with my Chronodon? I don't know! Scizor's there, and um... I think that seals the game for me because of my Magnezone. And on top of that, my Blastoise, I don't think it's able to knock me out. And uh... Hmm... I guess... I, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I, I'm just gonna... Hmm. Crab hammer for the third time is fucking risky as fuck. So... Oh, it could be the roost set. It could be. I am just gonna knock off, I guess. Or crab hammer. Actually, knock off seems to be the better choice. So, knock off away. So I'm not gonna risk going for a third crab hammer because that'd be too much for me and it's 90% accurate and I don't want to deal with that bullshit. So Scizor's gonna make it evolve, that's obvious I guess. Knock off is not gonna do as much but I do, I, I am in plus one so it does do a hefty amount. Um, that Swords Dance is not gonna really matter against my Magnezone so um, Cronut is definitely not going to do a 3-0 here but that's fine. I'm gonna Aqua Jet away. I do outspeed it because I did set up that Dragon Dance. So, it's gonna do half the amount of damage. Bullet Punch is definitely going to kill. But, there's nothing this Mega Scizor can do against my Magnezone. So, that's gonna seal the game for me. Thank you, Magnezone, for being here. Thank you. Thank I'm gonna thank myself for bringing Magnezone here because it is a fucking bitch against the Scizor. And I'm gonna just T Bolt for the win. There's no other reason why not. So, some Bullet Punch is not gonna do shit. Actually, it does a lot because it did pack in that Sword Dance and it was a crit! Well, it doesn't even matter! Does not fucking matter. Get out of my fucking base, Mega Scizor! Because I do pack in that Choice Specs motherfucking deliciousness. Choice Specs, and on top of that, it, it just it's just going to be good times for me. 9-0! Thank you, Luno, for... I don't know. For not using that fucking Ombreon Protect Toxic set. So I guess that's, that's okay. So, that match was relatively quick. So I'm going to give you guys a second battle like I always do, because that's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> Challenge away. Um, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good with my rating right now. I am at, uh, whatchamacallit, 1567. So I am in a good position right now. So, um, that's going to be good times. That's going to be good times. And, um, wow. Okay. And the only loss I got was from that fucking stall ass Pokemon I mentioned um, in the last match. But it wasn't the last match, it was the other match um, that I didn't record because it lasted already 4 minutes and I, did not I do not want to talk about it anymore. I, I just don't because it was fucking retarded. But, uh, I don't know what he wants, he wants to start out with. I really don't. Hmm. He might come in with a um, Rotom just to be on the safe side. Or he could just go with Venusaur. I don't know. I, uh, I kind of do want to bring in Tangrowth, and then afterwards bring in Crawdont. I don't know if that's the best choice though. Uh, my Man Shall. Hmm. Well, this is actually pretty tough. I. Hmm. He's gonna definitely bring in that Air Grenade. Definitely, definitely. Um. I can go to Mianxiao to scout out what he brought in. So with that, I'm going to go bring in Mianxiao. See, the thing is, if he brings in that Venusaur, I'm pretty screwed, and I don't think I have anything to deal with that. Um, so that's the one ugly pickle that I have to deal with. And uh, he might bring in Greninja. So I don't know what I should do. That's a big problem. I have nothing to cover that Venusaur. That's what I'm thinking right now. I'm gonna bring in Magnezone because I'm thinking it's gonna do the, the most damage to that Venusaur. And uh, for everything else, 
I guess I want to bring Blastoise or Crawdon. I I'm just going to bring Blastoise, I guess. So Mian Chao, Magnezone, and Blastoise. Don't know if that's going to be the right choice, but we're going to find out right now. We're going to do it right fucking now. But I am at 9-0 right now, so I'm pretty happy if I go out with, with this uh, ending with the lock. But I'm not, gonna I'm not saying that I'm I'm I want to lose. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying that I'm just going to give it my all. Yeah, I'm going to give it my all without without doubt. So he does bring in the Infernape. So pretty much my Magnezone can't do shit with this um, Infernape here. But I can't fake out. I think I outspeed. So I do. And the way he, st he stayed in tells me that he is definitely Scarfed. Otherwise, he would have switched out. He might go for a U-turn. To get some momentum. But that is just that is just estimating a lot. So I'm gonna go to Blastoise. That's what I wanna do. Um he might go for a CC. So that would have been a bad that that would do a lot of damage to my Blastoise, but I do I am uh, physically offensive. That stealth rocks ain't is not gonna matter that much. It's because it just I don't have anything that's actually weak against those stealth rocks, so that's fine with me. And I'm gonna want an Aqua Jet just to be on the safe side. He might not think I, I do pack in the uh, Aqua Jet, but he does predict that maybe. So he switched out. He's gonna save that Infernape for later, but he did have the Stealth Rocks telling me that he did not. He is not a choice card. So that's another thing to note. So, against this Mega Venusaur, that's something else. That is a different situation of itself. So, Huh, he might pack in Sleep Powder and all that jazz, he really might. Huh. I'm gonna Ice Beam. I'm gonna stay in. I, I, I know that could be a bad choice on my part, but I know I can survive a hit. So whatever choice he decides to do, that's fine. I'm gonna Ice Beam, I know he won't do much because, okay, so he does, he does do the Giga Drain stuff, so. It won't, it won't matter that much right now because I didn't take that much HP, so I, I just want to scatter what he wanted to do. But Ice Beam is going to do some some sort of nothing. <laughs> so, I pretty much going to have to go to Magnezone, but I don't know if I outspeed that Venusaur to my Magnezone. I am at 91 speed. Don't know how much speed that Venusaur has. I don't. So that is another problem of itself. So, Magnezone's gonna come in. I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gonna get a drain again, that's fine. And with that, I don't know. I don't know what I can do. There's a lot of things I can do. I can just flash cannon away. Huh. I don't think it's gonna stay in though. I really don't. So to scout out what he's going to do, I'm going to Volt Switch, actually. If I stay in... Oh, he does pack in the fucking Earthquake. Wow. So I guess it's common to run that damn thing. Wow. I thought I was the only one that he packed in the Earthquake on that damn Venusaur. But apparently, it's common. So, I'm going to be pretty much swept by this uh, Venusaur. Pretty much. There's nothing I can do against this Venusaur. So, I'm gonna go for a fake out on this Venusaur. There's nothing I can do, pretty much. He's gonna withdraw! <sighs> it's not like if I can do anything against this guy. Garchomp is gonna come in, take in the fake out. Um, this tells me he's a Scarf Chomp, or else he wouldn't have set this in the first place. <sighs> and for with that, I don't know if there's anything I can do. I'm pretty much done. I'm pretty much done! Yeah! I, I'm just gonna try to hot jump kick if I can, but other than that, I'm pretty much done here. There's nothing I could do unless I get a mega crit here, or I kill this Garchomp, which I do. Okay, not bad, not bad, Manchow, not bad. You're pulling through it right now. That is good times. That's good times. That's good times. Garchomp is gonna go down like it was destined to. So all that damage is too real, man. Pretty much, he's gonna go with what? Uh, Infernape. For some apparent reason. Huh. 
Um, with that, what I want to do actually, if he is scarfed, then he would reveal it right now. But I don't know if he is because he did use Stealth Rock. I am gonna high jump kick. Um, but he does pack in the mock punch. I totally forgot about the mock punch. I, I totally forgot. Why didn't I remember? <laughs> but at this rate, it does not matter. He might just switch out just to con um, to conserve the 2-0 victory. But at this rate, there's no point um, for me to stay in. But he might just mock punch for the win. But I'm just going to Aqua Jet. So he's going to mock punch. I think that'll kill. Or not, because I am fully defensive. So I'm going to Aqua Jet kill this damn Infernape. So that does not kill my mistake, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That's what I get for being modest nature. But it, eh, I don't know. At this rate, I, I couldn't have won against that Venusaur. So there was nothing I could have done. So because that's, that's part of why I always like to pack in a flying type. But I wanted to be different. So that's going to be a 9-1 victory. So that was a good game from her part. She played her plays correctly. She was not annoying. So, that's a good way to end out. 9-1, ladies and gentlemen, that my, my streak is over. My streak is over, but I gotta move on from it. So, I gotta pack in something that can definitely defeat Venusaur because there was nothing else I could have done because of the thick fat ability. Ice moves and fire moves couldn't do jack shit. So, if you like my video, please don't forget to leave a like below the video. It's a thumb symbol right there. You gotta do it right now. Subscribe if you can. It's right there next to the channel name. If you enjoy my content, you gotta do it right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. With that said, if you guys like want to battle me for future videos, um, seeing as my battle last uh, versus video was 30 minutes long, I might just do a post commentary on it just to just to put in like nine minutes instead of like 30 minutes. So with that said, add me. My friend code's in the description. If you want to add me and request a battle, put that in the comment section below. O U O U U battle does or mix doesn't matter. So with that said, after the everybody, ciao. <laughs>